The Eurozone isn't doing as well as we thought. Q1 GDP hasn't raised the roof and the Euro has slipped. A fresh report from the Euro area shows that the economy rose 0.4% quarter on quarter in the first quarter as expected. And what I think is really interesting about this report is that net exports actually was were a drag on performance rather than a positive contrib uh, contribution. And that is because while everybody expected the lower euro to aid exporters, we actually saw that being outweighed by imports due to lower energy prices, which boosted households' purchasing power. But surely with QE and low oil prices, the long-term prospects for the eurozone must be good. Well, we have a quite optimistic forecast for this year's GDP for the euro area and it will be helped not only by previous reform programs and the lack of austerity measures but of course the two main tailwinds are the lower euro and the lower energy prices both of which helps exporters and households purchasing power. However, I think if we look a bit further ahead into the end of 2015 and into 2016 I think there is cause for con Concern because the reform program has been more or less halted in many countries due to better economic performance. There is not the same sense of urgency. So I'm afraid that when we lose these two uh, tailwinds uh, from the euro and oil prices, we'll get back down to more moderate growth rates of around 1% a year. And Maz has a long-term eurozone-related trade in high-yield corporate bonds. Yes, our bullish bet on European high-yield corporate bonds was triggered by the anticipation of ECB's QE program at the end of last year when that anticipation started to build. Um, and since then it's performed solidly, if not uh, very well. But what we have seen the last sell-off in, uh, in the European equities and compared to that, uh, high yield bonds have actually held up quite well. And I think given the stronger economic fundamentals, the ECB's QE uh, then we could see further upside surprises from European high yields. And you have to remember that they are delivering a quite nice dividend yield as well. So it's a trade that we are still uh, having firmly in place.